experiencing the world from above is really mind opening. It changes your whole perspective of the planet that we live on. It just really gives you the sense of how small we are and how big this earth is. And how all the things on this earth interconnect with each other to make life possible. Just by seeing it from above. My name is Chris Dalberdeen. I'm from Taos, New Mexico. I'm an aerial photographer and trike pilot. Today is a mid-January day in New Mexico and it's cold, but the atmosphere is stable, uh, light winds, so it's a great day to fly. A trike is a flying machine that looks like a hang glider wing with a three-wheeled carriage underneath and the motor mounted behind you. So you sit in a seat and steer exactly how you would a hang glider. To learn to fly a trike safely, there's a couple main components. And the first I would say is getting to know your machine, your wing, all the mechanical aspects of your craft. And the second equally as important is getting to know the weather and the conditions that your craft can fly in. I actually really love flying in the winter because the air stays stable almost all day long. The cold temperature keeps the thermals from developing so you can fly all day a lot of these winter days. This Sony A7R3 with the 43 megapixel sensor is really great. It's just really responsive and been a great camera for me. I had always been interested in photography, but never really pursued it much until I started flying one of these. When you take off at sunrise and you see an amazing sky light up before you and you're flying over beautiful pink clouds, it's so moving you just really want to share it with someone and it's hard to do with words. So it was pretty natural to pick up a camera and just start trying to capture what I was seeing. Clear prop. <laughs> Today we're thinking about flying up along the Rio Grande Gorge to the north and then kind of climb up and if conditions allow, maybe go over the mountains a little, uh, the Sangre de Cristos and kind of get a sense of um, what the range is like from probably 13,000 feet or so. Taos traffic, track 5615, taking off runway 4 at Alpha 3 Taos. Thanks, I got an eye on him. The sensation of a trike, at first you feel very exposed and vulnerable. Just being out in the wind like that and seeing the ground fall away from you, that can be unsettling and I think the better you know your craft and the more you do it, the more you start to trust not only the aircraft and its limitations, but you trust your judgment about how to decide when it's safe to fly or not. And once you get to that point, it becomes much more enjoyable and you can actually relax up there and even if it's a few moments, let go of the intensity and the fear and the other things you have to be monitoring and thinking about. And that's really what it's about when you can let your spirit, so to speak, be elevated from being up there. When I'm flying, I can shoot with one hand while I'm steering with the other hand and I can actually adjust my settings with my gloves on. I just kind of hold it out. I don't really use the viewfinder because it's hard to get up close to your helmet and I can shoot off any direction. I generally shoot with a 24 to 70 or 24 to 105. I feel like that most of the things I want are within that range. When I see something that just moves me or I see a pattern in the earth or a certain lighting, now it's instinctive. I just pick up the camera and shoot whatever just kind of catches my eye and catches my interest. The 
I've been in New Mexico for over 40 years and this landscape is still fascinating to me. The high desert on one side of us and then on the other side we have high alpine environment and beautiful peaks. It pretty much allows an endless canvas to work with and to photograph. Just being out there in that environment and those conditions is always pushing your mind and your will to be able to capture more and in different ways. Every time I go up, I try to think, what have I not done? What can I do differently? What elevation could I shoot from or what angle? It seems like a never-ending study, really. You can never really master it. You can just keep immersing yourself and take it to the next level for yourself. I think the more people that could experience seeing the earth from above in an open aircraft, the better the world would be because it changes you in a good way. It really makes you appreciate simple things and just put together a bigger, more inclusive picture of, of what we are and what life is. My name is Chris Dalberdeen. I'm an aerial photographer and trike pilot. 